Hey guys, so welcome to this beautiful July day. So today we are heading to Blomidon Provincial Park, but just before we get there, we thought we'd stop and show you this. So this is simply called the Look Off, and it's here in the Annapolis Valley, and you're gonna get a great view of the, the valley, and then you're gonna see there's gonna be a spot uh, where the water usually is. Right now it's low tide, so you won't be able to see a whole lot to, except for mud. But in this particular spot, uh, the difference between low tide and high tide is 30 feet. So that's like three stories tall. So you can imagine how much water it's going to change. And we're going to show you all this a little later in the video. Um, but for now, enjoy the view from here at the look off. So, as you can see, with low tide, there is absolutely no water in the spot, and these boats are high and dry at the moment. But what we'll do is we'll come back in a little bit when the tide's a little bit higher, and you can see just how much of a difference the tides here are. Okay, so we have made it to Blomidon. We just went through and booked our campsite. Now, this is unusual for me, but I did not pre-book, only because they charge an extra $9 to Holy. reserve a spot so that's quite a bit that's like a third of the price right there so we didn't bother doing that so we went in and we have a spot now we haven't set up we wanted to come uh, because it is low tide and we wanted to be able to walk on the bottom of the ocean uh, so you're going to be able to see that it's just pretty much mud here there's no rock you're probably not going to see a whole lot of seashells or or anything like that once we get to the bottom um, but yeah it should be uh, should be a good time Akane's never been here before, so mm -hmm. I'm excited to show her. Mm -hmm. It's been super long since I've been here. Despite my parents living in this area for a few years, uh, I really haven't been down to Blomidon for quite a while. So there you go. You're walking on the bottom of the ocean right now. Even here? Yeah. Here? Remember, it went up three... Here? Yeah. Here. This is all going to be water in a matter of six hours. What do you think? Does it come off in your hands? No. Is it all clay? Kind of yes. like what? Fine red color. Do you know why? It's probably just the mud and clay from the bottom that's been washed up and attached yeah, to the side of the rock. I mean, even P.I. that just one side, just to, how can Nova Scotia side is red sand, but another side is like bigger. White sand or like stone beach. Oh, I'm not sure then. Hey, Nova Scotian. <laughs> How can I call it this guy? It's a rock. No. <laughs> we call these barnacles. Barnacles. Barnacles, yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head all the way down to the water's edge and we're going to see if it's cold or not. I have a feeling, because I know, that it will be cold. Not too cold. She thinks not too cold. I always love the areas where you can get out and walk on the ocean floor, but unlike a lot of the other places that I've been to, this is really weird in the fact that very little gets left behind on the mud and the sand. So like certain other places you can see there's all kinds of jellyfish or there's all kinds of uh, just rocks or anything that gets tumbled up into the, the surf and the wave. But here, very little gets left behind. No! That seems to be the problem. No. Were you sinking in a little too far? 
Are you getting stuck? Why only me? No, not only you. Yeah, I didn't, but you. I just didn't scream him about it. Yeah, but. Okay. You're like, woo! You found a few of the shells here. Nice. Mm hmm. We should go for supper? Uh, no, I think we'll stick with the hamburgers. <laughs> Is that okay with you? I think you'd probably need to collect quite a few of those if you wanted those just for supper. Around 100. Around 100? Mm-hmm. Should you bring a little bucket or a barrel to stick those in? Uh, maybe put my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use this one. Too bad, too late. Everything gets used. <coughs> so, I think we're getting a little further on. And the sun hasn't had a chance to dry this out like it has. I'm wearing oh. sandals, so every time I flip, my flop is flinging. That's a lot of ass. My flip <laughs> flop is flinging sand all over the back of my legs. Oh. All right, we have pretty much made it to the water's edge, and we're gonna do the ultimate water test. All right. Are you just humming the Canadian national anthem? young baby Canadian. All right. Here we go. There you go. What seems to be the verdict? What do you think? Think you would like to do it more than just the top parts of your feet? That's the only reason why you're not going farther than that? Mm -hmm. Oh, we could go. <laughs> See? Yeah. That's not a bathing suit. No, but shorter than mine. So you'll notice as soon as we get to the water's edge, the amount of seaweed and plant life or wildlife from the ocean becomes apparent just, just as soon as you get to the water. And she goes into the sea. Okay, so we kind of just found our first wildlife find. I need to smack the old noggin. Aww, it's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you're finding all kinds of food. You got that, you got seaweed, you can eat some of the dirt. Because I love seafood. Drink some of the seawater. Oh, Have some of those barnacles. Um, That's a natural toothbrush right there. Which one? The barnacles. You just scrape those against your teeth and your tongue. <laughs> they have to just brat everywhere. You'll you'll be clean for three and a half days. <laughs> They're looking for warm water. These little pools are fantastic. Nice and warm. Water's bringing all this little sand. It's like a pedicure. What do you think? Pedicure? Pedicure, yeah. Why pedicures? Because uh, of the exfoliation from the sand over your feet. Walking along the beach like this reminds me of in high school. I used to work at a summer camp and it was really nice. It was right along the water, kind of like this. So on my break, I did one of two things. I went for a walk on the beach, or they had a fantastic hammock that was set up uh, overlooking. It would be like on top of the cliffs, and it was overlooking. It was so nice, and just walking this little section, that, that's where my mind goes, is, is looking back at that. I worked there for three summers. Um, I went there as a camper for six years. I, I just loved it so much. It was a, It's in a little town called Pugwash. And yeah, bug wash. Um, yeah, and, and I just I loved it so much. And this is exactly what it's like. In the middle of summer, the sun is beautiful. There's not a cloud in the sky. It is absolutely awesome. And that's why, like places like this, it, it just it takes me back. That's what traveling does, right? It, it creates memories and it brings back memories from either places that you've been. Whether or not I've been here before, it, 
for whatever reason it doesn't bring me back there but it brings me back to working at the summer camp and that's one thing that I absolutely love about traveling is that the memories that you make and the memories that traveling brings up are always so wonderful hurry up all right I'll get small what See if I can get in a little bit closer here. I can catch if you want to. I don't know what these are. No, it looks like lobster. Don't you think so? Uh, yeah, I think so actually. Ah, find. Ta -da. There we go. Is he alive? Yes, of course. Oh, I'm all blurry. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Nice catch. Uh, I can't move. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, okay, let's get this one back on. Moving, moving. We're, we're, oh, moving, man. moving. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ah. Uh, this is a disaster. Detersed. I was trying to move so my shadow wouldn't be in anything. <laughs> cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a snail or uh, whatever it is inside an actual shell moving around like that before. Really? Yeah. Why not? I don't know. Have you? Yes, we do have. You do have. Excellent. <laughs> That's it, people. That's it over here. Ooh. My goodness. <laughs> I have to go back to the water, clean this bad boy off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you want to see some sea life, check out these little, they're called tide pools. So check out the little tide pools. When the tide goes out, it leaves these little pools. And uh, that's where everything that's a lip. What are you doing? <laughs> that's where everything that is living is living until the tide comes back in. You can definitely see the water line there uh, on the rocks and to give you an idea we're going to go get a Kanye to stand next to it and you can see exactly how high this water gets okay so there's her and there is the water line okay so we are going to be heading back to the campground right now we're going to get set up and then we're going to see you in about four hours our time and we're gonna check out the high tides. So make sure you keep watching the video because, you know. It's a good point. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, keep watching the video. Just... <laughs> All right, thank you for sticking with me. So it's actually quite a few hours later. It's about seven o'clock. So high tide is around eight or just after eight. Um, but just to make sure that we had enough light, we wanted to come here around seven. So we're gonna go to two different spots. We're gonna go back to where we were walking on the, um, the ocean floor there earlier. Um, so we're gonna go check and see what it's like now. And then afterwards, we're gonna go check out where those boats were and see what the difference is like there. So we can already tell just the difference from here. So hang on, we'll show you. So, as you can tell, a lot of what was exposed earlier has been completely covered by water. And you notice it most down by the rocks there behind me, just how much of our, is already inaccessible that we were walking on before. So you'd have to walk through the water in order to get there. So it's just one of those things where this area, especially, so we're not actually at the Bay of Fundy, which has the highest tides, but this area is very close to that, so it is very much similar. So as you can tell, it is a big difference between low tide and high tide here. Okay, uh, so I'm not going to lie. The, the, we're at the boats here now, and it didn't go up quite as much as I was hoping or expecting, um, but you'll still see a little bit of difference compared to what it was. The boats were just sitting on the bare sand there before, and well, this is what it is now. So 
so there is a six hour time span between low tide and high tide so it's been about five hours so there's about an hour of uh, tide time left in order to come up so I'll come up a little bit more another uh, one six of the way or so so it's gonna actually come up a fair bit from what it is now well guys I think we're gonna cut it out there I hope you liked the video if you did hit the thumbs up let me know always leave comments uh, I love talking to you guys, and of course, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you. If you like this material and want to see more, just subscribe to the channel. Love to see ya. Alright guys, hope you have a good one. See you next time.